This is the ultimate guide to military side hustles and how to make extra money while in the military. Now I know most of us didn't join the military to get rich, but that being said, a surprising amount of service members have a second job or a hustle to make some extra money. Now, I myself have dabbled in several military side hustles throughout my career. Most of the ideas I'm going to talk about have either been done by me or by friends of mine. Now this guide will help you determine which military side hustles will best fit your occupation and provide the best return on your invested time. First we need to talk about whether you can have a second job in the military. Whether you believe it or not, you are actually required to get permission from your command in order to work a second job. You are in the military 24-7 and your command needs to ensure that your part-time job will not interfere with mission obligations. They also need to verify that you aren't working in a job that could be a potential security risk. And finally, they need to verify that there are no ethical complications for the part-time job. For example, if you're an acquisition manager for the military and your job is working with like a defense contractor, I mean, you could kind of see how that would get a little convoluted. That could create a conflict of interest. So getting approved to work a side hustle isn't too difficult as long as you're able to articulate that your job understands the military takes priority over their hours and does not prevent any security or ethical concerns. Every branch of service has a different approval process, but for me, I've generally just asked my officer in charge for approval and they'll run it by the commanding officer, bada bing, bada boom. For more information on the approval process, check out my friend's post on militarydollar.com. They have a lot of information on the different services and how you can request for that. Now, first we're gonna talk about some apps that you can use. Technological advances have brought many new opportunities. Many of these involve job opportunities that disrupted existing markets. Think of how Airbnb disrupted the hotel industry or how Uber disrupted the taxi industry. Luckily, you can take advantage of these opportunities in your quest to find the perfect military side hustle to supplement your income. The first thing we're gonna talk about is rideshare. Uber and Lyft are popular rideshare applications. And the basic premise of rideshare is that you're operating as an independent taxi driver. Passengers simply request to be picked up from their location, taken to a specified destination, then you, the driver can accept this mission and whisk them away to their destination. No, you don't need to blare the James Bond theme song and drive tactically, but I suppose it's acceptable as long as you get them there safe. This is a good way to earn extra cash, meet cool people, and get intimately familiar with local neighborhoods, which is a bonus for real estate investors. So make sure to download Mile IQ in order to track all of your business mileage so you can write it off your taxes at the end of the year. Instacart. Do you enjoy grocery shopping? Yeah, me neither. I do, however, enjoy getting paid to grocery shop for other people. Instacart allows you to buy groceries for people and deliver them to their homes. The nice thing about this app is that you can earn a solid income without requiring passengers to ride your car. You simply walk through the store, buy the groceries they requested, the, the app makes this really simple, and then you deliver them. You can listen to audiobooks while driving around and may earn some pretty solid tips. Also, a lot of successful people pay for this service, so you might make some great networking connections. The next app is Turo. I love Turo. If you have a car that doesn't get driven every week, why not rent it out on Turo to earn extra income? Turo allows you to become a rental car agency. I have rented my wife's car on Turo a couple times when she was out of town and would gladly rent mine out when I'm not using it. You can easily cover all of your monthly automobile expenses this way, and you might find yourself making a decent profit. I even know of somebody who at one point owned six vehicles that they turned into a Turo rental fleet. Dog walking. You can do this with the entire family. There's two apps called Rover and Wag, which both make it painless for you to get paid for walking our furry four-legged friends. As an added bonus, you get a little exercise doing this one too. So part-time jobs. A part-time job is essentially any job you take on periodically. I differentiate these from side hustles because you're an employee and not necessarily in charge of your own schedule. Not all part-time jobs are created equal, so do your due diligence. Now, I delivered pizzas for Domino's in high school and really enjoyed it. So if I was to pick one of these jobs, that's the one I would definitely pick. The three that I listed here for examples of part-time jobs are simply delivering pizza, being a bouncer at a bar at night, and officiating sports such as soccer. Next, you could make money online. Now, just like the apps, there are a million ways that you could make money online. Literally millions. The odds are that you are passionate about something that could be monetized online one way or another. You could write an ebook. Now writing a book is a great way to build authority. It has never before been easier to write a book. Hell, I have even written an ebook that you can download for free on my website. 
Now the great thing about ebooks is that you can self-publish them and sell them on Amazon. There's very little or no overhead with this approach and it is a great way to earn some passive income and get your name out there. You could build a website or blog. Now this is not a get rich quick scheme. Of all the side hustles I've talked about for military members so far, this is the least likely to make you any money when you start. You would likely get a book written, published, and sold long before you would make a decent revenue from blogging. That being said, I think blogging is therapeutic. Writing is therapeutic after all. And blogging is just as beneficial, but you get to share your message with the entire world. Now my website, which a lot of you have been on, started as a place for me to improve my writing skills and has blossomed into a full-blown hobby. That being said, I've been blogging for almost two years and have not made very much money at all. Now, this is partially because I didn't monetize anything for the first 18 plus months that I was blogging, and partially because I was learning everything the hard way as I like to do. There are many ways to monetize a website or blog, and this is something worth looking into as a long play. Next, you could look into affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a good way to earn extra income, especially if you already have a website or a blog. This is simply linking to products and services from other companies you like and recommending them to your audience. If people buy what you recommended through your link, you get paid. For example, if I say, oh my God, if you go download Audible now, you will get your first book for free. And then you click the link, I'll make a couple dollars. I'll even put that link below. This is not extremely lucrative, about 4% of the sale, which on a book is usually less than a dollar, but it's a nice bonus for recommending books and items that I would recommend to people anyway. Next is YouTube. YouTube is a great way to reach your audience if you have a good niche. YouTube is owned by Google, and it is the second largest search engine on the internet. It takes time to get monetized on YouTube. I've had this channel for over a year, and I haven't earned a penny through the actual ad revenue. You can monetize it through sponsorships and affiliate codes, though, even if your channel isn't officially monetized yet. And that being said, it's a fun platform, and when it starts growing, it can become a great source of authority too. Another way to make money is podcasts. Now, starting a podcast is a great way to network and build authority, and I have absolutely loved hosting the Military Millionaire podcast for many reasons. But the best is that I've been able to have 45-minute conversations with very successful people. Some of these people are so busy and successful that I never would have gotten 45 minutes of their time without the podcast. So once you have an established audience, you can earn money by selling sponsorship spots on the show or by having listener support through monthly Patreon donations. I haven't done Patreon donations, don't know that I ever plan to, but it's a cool way to earn a little bit of extra money. You could also get into consulting. Coaching and consulting is a good way to earn some extra money. You could consult in virtually any industry. So find something you're good at and help other people achieve success. I even have consulting on my website. You could build an online course. I am building my first online course even as I record this. The idea behind an online course is that you add as much value as possible for a reasonable price in order to teach somebody a skill. For example, my course is designed to take you from I've decided I want to invest in real estate to I own cash flowing rental properties. The more value you add, in theory, the more money you can charge. But the goal should always be to help as many people as humanly possible. You could become a freelancer too. I have hired many freelancers before. A good way to make extra income is to get paid for helping people with tasks online. There's Freelancer, Fiverr, and Upwork, which are all great websites to work on as a freelancer. If you can edit videos, graphic design, or any number of skills, then you can get paid for them by freelancing. You could also become a freelance writer. Freelance writing is a subcategory of freelancing, but I broke it out because writing is such a specific skill set that it can be much more marketable. You could be an editor, you could write blog posts for people, you could transcribe audio, or you could even be a ghostwriter. Ghostwriting is a really cool niche that I have known many people to use. Essentially, a ghostwriter will write a book or whatever you need written for you just by interviewing you about the content and then writing it out for you. Another great way to make money online is to become a virtual assistant. I currently utilize two virtual assistants. One of them does all my editing and copywriting and various life-saving life skills, and the other edits my podcast. These two VAs have saved me countless hours and simultaneously helped me produce better content for you. So I suppose that a virtual assistant is similar to a freelancer, except that you use them more frequently. I may use a freelancer once for a specific project, but I work with my VAs every single week. My editor, especially, is a lifesaver for me. The other difference is in the way you pay them. As a virtual assistant, you are essentially a 1099 employee, but you can work at your own pace. You could also flip websites online. Now, <laughs> I have never flipped websites, but I have some friends that have done quite well at this. Think of this like flipping houses, but with web domains. 
You buy a domain with a great name and sell that for a higher price down the road. Imagine if you had bought marijuana.com or maryjane.com before it became legal. Now the high-end version of website flipping is to buy an active account or one that was active and fix it up to generate more revenue and then turn around and sell that account for profit or enjoy the cash flow. You could run someone's social media account. Now this has become a more popular side hustle nowadays as made famous by Ty Lopez. If you understand the social media algorithms and have some experience growing your accounts, this could be a great way for you to earn some monthly recurring income. You could also sign up to be a tutor. If you are good at a specific academic subject, you could easily sign up to help tutor some students. This could be a one-time session or a recurring event, depending on how much assistance the student needs. Now we're gonna talk about side hustles. If you're watching this, which you are, it is the result of one of my many side hustles. The military millionaire community started as a blogging hobby and it has quickly grown into one of the largest communities of military real estate investors in the world. Side hustles are fun because you can earn extra money in virtually any way that you can think of. There are countless opportunities and you'd be surprised how far a little creativity will take you. You could start by mowing yards. Starting a lawn mowing business is super cliche, but it works. You could start this job at a young age and quickly hire other people to help you scale. Now, as a side note, this could be a great side hustle to have your kids start in high school to help them learn about money and entrepreneurship. You could shovel sidewalks and driveways in the winter. This is often referred to as backbreaking labor because it is hard, but that means it can double as your workout and an extra source of income. You could even do a little house sitting. So offer to watch a friend's house or pets when they are out of town, or utilize a website like mindmyhouse.com to find house sitting jobs. An added bonus is you could potentially Airbnb your house while house sitting in someone else's house to earn a little income there and a little income here. Now this is assuming that they are cool with you staying over there as opposed to just popping in periodically to check on the pets. You could rent bouncy houses. This is a fun one. A friend of mine bought a bouncy house one year. People started asking to borrow it and he was charging a small rental fee just to cover any damage that might occur. After a little while, he realized that if his friends were willing to pay a little bit to rent from him, other people would probably be willing to as well. So he listed his bouncy house on Craigslist and rented it out all the time. He would generally rent it by the day and made a substantial amount of money for simply dropping it off or picking it up. He even gave a small discount if people came and picked it up from him and dropped it off. And that almost completely automated his business. You could rent photo booths. I recently met an active duty gunny's name on recruiting duty who is operating a photo booth company in Southern California. He is an active duty Marine recruiter who found a side hustle and is making it work. You could charge scooters. Now this is a new development, but companies like Bird and Lime will pay you to pick up scooters at night and charge them in your garage. Bird, for example, pays you $5 per scooter for up to 20 scooters a night. You could earn $100 a night by simply charging scooters. Public speaking. This one takes time and you'll be hard pressed to get paid for speaking right off the bat. You need to build some authority in order to get paid speaking gigs, but it can be quite lucrative. The best advice I can give you is to start practicing now. Volunteer to speak at as many locations as possible and perfect your delivery. I have recently joined a local Toastmasters club in order to become a better speaker, and from there I will volunteer for as many gigs as possible in order to gain experience and authority while perfecting my delivery. I plan to be a paid speaker within the next five years, so let's see how that turns out. Now you could be an extra on television too. No, I'm not joking. I was an extra on Hawaii 5 in Hawaii. If you don't believe me, check out the last episode of season eight, the one with the submarine. I worked with them for a day and a half and made $480. In addition to that, we were provided with a large complimentary buffet on both days, and I got to meet some of the actors for a show that I enjoy watching anyway. So check with local production studios to see how you can get involved. If you're handy, check out TaskRabbit. People list random errands and handyman requests on this website, and you can take jobs as desired. What about farmer's market? You could set up a stand at a farmer's market for virtually anything. It doesn't need to be produce related as long as you're willing to rent the booth space and hang out in the street with people. Maybe you could sell things you no longer need. Now, I know this isn't necessarily a side hustle, but cleaning up is good too. Little minimalism never hurt anyone. Garage sales are an age old way to make a little extra cash while cleaning up around the house. As a hack, you can donate items you didn't sell and write off the donation as a tax deduction. Maybe you could babysit, which might be better suited for your older children, but many people still need the assistance of a good babysitter from time to time. Why not earn a little cash playing with kiddos? You could wash and detail cars. Now, detailing cars is an art form, and if you can master the art of making somebody's car glisten, they will pay you handsomely for it. 
I have several friends that have made, that have detailed cars for extra money. And one of them did so well that he does it full time now. The key to increasing your income with auto detailing is to be the best you can and specialize in detailing high-end cars. You could even get into mounting metals for people. My neighbor in Hawaii did this quite successfully and she would donate a large portion of the proceeds to her unit's Marine Corps ball fund, but she still had money left over. So she got really good at mounting metals and she did simple marketing around base, such as Facebook groups and word of mouth. She would charge $5 a metal, plus a flat fee for the basic portion and ta-da. Making money could be as simple as selling product. Selling a product is a good way to earn some extra cash. Just be sure you have a high enough margin to justify the amount of time that you're spending working on the product. You could license or sell creative work. Are you artistic? If you can paint, print t-shirts, make shadow boxes, create plaques for going away, presents, build furniture or any other creative endeavor, why not sell it? I have known people to successfully sell all of these items and if you're talented, you can do quite well for yourself, especially on base. I know we talked about garage sales, but the garage sale flip is totally different than selling your old stuff. Gary Vaynerchuk calls his videos on this strategy trash talk. Now I have done this somewhat successfully and had a lot of fun messing around with it. Essentially you go into garage sales, negotiate great deals, and then sell the items for a profit on eBay. My best garage sale flip was 16,000% profit. I bought a printer for 50 cents and sold it for like $82 or something. This requires you to spend time ransacking garage sales, but it is actually pretty fun too. Next, we're gonna talk about investing. Now, you may not think of investing as a side hustle. However, when you consider that your money is now working to generate passive income for you, I think it definitely counts. It's fine if you disagree, but you need to be investing in order to build wealth exponentially anyway. You could dig into a little peer-to-peer -peer lending or P2P, which is the practice of lending money to individuals or businesses through online services. Basically, you can lend money through these apps and websites in order to receive interest payments. Now, this is similar to private lending on real estate investments, but it's through a service. You could also be lending on personal loans or business loans too, which is a little different than just private lending on real estate. Basically, you're acting like the bank. The Thrift Savings Plan. And if you aren't utilizing the Thrift Savings Plan or TSP, then you're wrong. This is one of the best 401k funds available and you should absolutely be taking advantage of it. Now this is especially true if you've opted into the blended retirement system, in which case you need to be contributing 5% of your paycheck in order to reap the benefits of the full matching contribution. This is essentially free money from the government, so you definitely need to be taking advantage of it. The thrift savings plan is not gonna provide you income at the moment, but it will compound for years and be worth a lot when you retire. You can download my free ebook, First Term Wealth, to learn more about this, and I'll make sure I link below. Index funds. Index funds are a great place to stash your money until you're ready to spend it. Compound interest will work its magic in order to multiply the money you invest into your index fund. This is just another way to increase your net worth. Real estate investing. It's no secret that real estate investing is my favorite way to make extra money in the military. There are so many strategies and benefits to military real estate investing. Not only are there a ton of ways to build wealth through real estate, but you can also slash expenses and mitigate taxes. The first strategy is house hacking. House hacking is the first real estate investment strategy that you should look to execute. There are many ways to house hack, but the premise is renting portions of your home to pay your mortgage. So this could be buying a duplex, triplex, or fourplex, and then renting the other units out. Or you could rent rooms of your house out individually. You could even combine these strategies. The reason this strategy is so powerful is because not only can you completely eliminate your mortgage payment, but you can even get paid to live in your home. The next strategy is rentals. This is especially powerful when you PCS. Rental properties are a great way to take advantage of cash flow, equity recapture, depreciation, and appreciation. Assuming your property cash flows and doesn't cost anything to hold on to when you move out, I absolutely recommend that you rent it out. The benefits of renting your home after you PCS are too great to pass up, and I would recommend this always be your first planned course of action. Now, if you have questions about renting your property, shoot me a message on Instagram at from military to millionaire, and I'll help you out. Wholesaling. Wholesaling is a way that you can make money in real estate without spending much, if any, money. You basically hunt down really good deals and then sell them at a markup to another investor. This is an easy way to make a couple thousand dollars, and I've even seen wholesalers make twenty to thirty thousand dollars on a really good deal, which is not bad for such a short turnaround. Wholesaling takes a lot of time, but it is a great way to start building capital. House flipping. I hate to break it to you, but this is nothing like HGTV. Flipping houses is hard work, and it's difficult to automate. There is no passive income and it takes a lot of time. That being said, you can make a substantial amount of money flipping houses and it is a natural progression from wholesaling. 
If you wholesale some real estate deals and you build up capital, it only makes sense to keep a house for yourself that you can fix up and flip eventually. And you'll make a killing doing this since you purchased the property at such an affordable price and didn't have to pay wholesaler fees. Private lending. My friend Mike does a lot of private lending. He earns great passive returns by investing in deals with real estate investors that he trusts. When you act as a private lender, you typically provide the money to purchase the deal in return for a promissory note with an agreed upon amount of interest coming back to you. This is a great way to earn passive returns as opposed to letting your money sit in a savings account while you wait to invest it. Now, finally, you could build a business. Building a business is the riskiest way to make extra money in the military. There are no guaranteed returns. You may work for years before ever receiving a paycheck and as an entrepreneur, you're only guaranteed one thing. It won't be easy. That being said, building a business could also be the most lucrative endeavor. Think of the richest men in the world. Yeah, they all built businesses. If you like the idea of gambling on a big risk, big reward scenario, then becoming a true entrepreneur could be just the right thing for you. Be careful though, you may not have the bandwidth required to build a business while you're still on active duty. All right guys, this is my list of 45 ways to make extra money in the military. With this many side hustles, how do you choose which is right for you? I recommend that you choose two or three that sound like things you would enjoy and then test them out. You can always add the more passive ones in as you go along. For example, I use Turo whenever we're out of town without the car. And I like to drive for Uber if I'm new to an area and want to get familiar with local real estate scene. There are so many ways to mix and match side hustles to earn extra income. Go try something new and have fun hustling your way to military millionaire status. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave.